Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this twisted 3D style text animation inside of After Effects and it's super easy to create. And I will also tell you about a free After Effects script that will help us create this animation much more quickly. But before we start today's video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and leave a like as this motivates me to keep on making more and more videos for you absolutely free. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this render as our main render comp. For the width and height, I'm going with 1000 by 1000. Frame rate is set to 30 FPS and duration set to 10 seconds. Press OK. Then select the text tool and then you can type in any text that you want. I'm going to type in loop. And for the font, I'm using Dharma Gothic. I'll mention the link to the font in the description so you can go ahead and check it out one of my favorite font and then what we have to do is um, press ctrl k to bring up the composition settings go into 3d render and by default the renderer should be set at classic 3d so you need to switch that to cinema 4d and go into options and make sure the quality is set to around 20 don't set it very high the complete system will start lagging because it uses a lot of gpu memory so 20 is a sweet spot you can increase it little by little maybe around 25 30 maximum press ok ok and then let's turn this into a 3d layer you can see nothing has changed but if i switch this to a custom view and then if I go into the properties and geometric options, we, here we get extrusion depth. So I can increase that and you can see we can extrude the text. So it looks pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let's go back to our active camera or the front view and right click and convert this into shapes from text. So now we have some nice shapes. We can delete this layer, but I'm going to leave it uh, hidden. If I press R and if I rotate it, you can see we have this nice 3D extruded text into shape layer. What I'm going to do is go into the contents of this, select all the text that we have, click on add, select front and give a, give a nice color to the front. Similarly, I'll click on add again, go into back and add some color to the back as well. And then I can go into the search bar and type in color and then set everything to white and there you go and then i can select this go into fill options and then you can add whichever color that you like i'm going to go with something like a nice dark pink and if i select this press r and rotate it so now we have added color to the sides of our text so the front and back is white and that is exactly what we want so I'm going to set this to zero and let's go ahead and animate this. So to animate it, I will be using a time displacement technique here. So first of all, to use the time displacement effect, we need to create a displacement map. So I'm going to press control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. We can call this map and press OK. Go into effects and presets and search for gradient RAM. Double click to apply that. And I'm going to leave it as it is. We can hide that then right click and create a new adjustment layer called this time. And on this layer, I'm going to add the time displacement effect. There you go. So now right here in the time displacement layer, I'm going to set this to map that we created and set the source to effects and mask. So now if I actually go right here, and let's animate this so press r to bring down the rotation properties i'll create a keyframe on the y rotation go to around two seconds and let's give it one complete rotation so i'll set this to one now this is going to make your system a bit heavy 
because the time displacement effect is quite heavy in itself but you get the idea of how the displacement works so basically it's using the data or the values from the map that we created the gradient map and it's going to use the values of color that is black and white to drive the animation if i want to make it even more cooler i'll jump into the time and let's set the max displacement type to 0.3 so right now you can see it's very choppy so we need to increase the time resolution but be very careful with this if you make it very high it may literally crash your after effects so the sweet spot that i found out to be good is 500. it's going to take a few seconds to um, preview the final result depending on how powerful your system is but yeah it's usually very nice so there you go now we have this nice smooth edges but as you can see the time it takes to ram preview it is quite high even i'm using 128 gb of 6000 megahertz ram it's still taking some time now let's select the keyframes that we created press f9 to easy ease them and go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and let's try to create a peak in the center just to create a much more interesting animation we can hide the time displacement effect for now and i'll drag this creating an influence of around 70-71% um, should be fine same for this one as well around 70 so now if i preview the animation we have something like this but as soon as i turn on the time displacement effect we should get a very interesting looking animation so there you go there we have this uh, cool looking animation but we want this animation to appear on every single letter one by one so to do that we need the script that i talked about earlier in the video that is the motion tools panel it's a free script again link is in the description so the first thing that i'm going to do is first of all let's hide the time displacement effect so our um machine doesn't blow off let's select this and then here we get an option that says explode shape layer so i'm going to click on that and what this is going to do is explode every letter into individual shape layers like that and then if i select this press u so we have the keyframes and i'm going to displace the keyframes by around five frames so to do that we can again use the script all i have to do is select the keyframes and here we have the uh, displacement tab so i can click on this the amount is set to five i'm going to click on this and now if i just preview this really quick let's see what we get and there you go as you can see here we have this cool looking typography text animation in after effects so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i have a complete typography animation playlist that you can binge watch right now for free link to which is in the description below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out